Myth wind shear is only dangerous at low altitudes. Truth, it is most critical near takeoff and landing, but it can strike during climb and even at cruise. Most passengers hear about wind shear during approach, sudden shifts in wind that can rob lift and cause go-arounds. It is easy to assume the risk disappears once you are climbing away, but that assumption is wrong. While low altitude wind shear is the most famous, because there is little time to react, aircraft can still hit dangerous shear higher up. Strong mounting waves, jet stream shifts or microbursts in storm systems can all distort airflow at altitude. At cruise, wind shear will not usually cause a crash, but it can stress the airframe, trigger turbulence and force diversions. On climb out though, it is critical. Shear can steal climb performance, demanding immediate pilot response. That is why modern jets have predictive wind shear radar and pilots train repeatedly in simulators. The system warns crews to go around or apply maximum thrust instantly. Quick recognition is the difference between routine and risk. So while low-level wind shear is the classic danger, it is not the only one. Climb and cruise shear are real. Proving wind is never something pilots take lightly. Here is the question. Would you feel safer knowing wind shear can strike at cruise too, or does that fact make you trust pilots even more?